listening to the HP Spotlight. I am Bishop E.E. E. Hunter. And I'm Apostle Aquila Hunter. And together, we are the Hunters. Hunters. We hope that you've been enjoying tuning in every week to listen to powerful preaching, teaching, and inspiration. Remember, God is always your source and your resource. How many of y'all need the Lord to stand by you? Whoa! You, but I need him to stand by me. Yes, sir.
Handmade by Lillian is a dynamic developer of jewelry and fashionable items. Procured in Hampton Roads, Virginia, Handmade by Lillian captures the style of the beach intertwined with splashes of homegrown farm colors to create a rich southern style for people of all ages. Handmade was created by Lillian, a neighborhood nine-year-old girl with artistic dreams. With the help of her mom and several trials, they finally honed in on a product. Shop the Handmade website for a wide range of unique earrings at prices that fit your budget, specially delivered to your front door. Visit our website at www.handmadebylillian.com. You won't be disappointed.
how many know he'll work it out? Come on, let's just Shabbat God for one second. Come on, just Shabbat him. We love you. Glory! We appreciate you. Amen. We certainly, certainly thank God for his presence. Amen. to the spirit she can. Amen. Amen. We certainly honor God for the shepherd of this house, Bishop Robeson. First Lady Robeson. All the officers, staff, and church members of this. And God was speaking through everything. And I'm just coming to bring the conclusion of the whole matter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or what was said tonight. 1 Samuel 16, we're going to look at 1, 1 through 13. It shouldn't take me long because God has been moving through everything, but I want to be sensitive to what he is saying. Amen. Amen. 1 Samuel 16. 1 through 13. Finally, coming from the New Living Translation, verse Samuel 16, 1 through 13. Finally, the Lord said to Samuel, You have mourned long enough for Saul. I have rejected him as king of Israel. Now fill your horn with oil and go to Bethlehem and find a man by the name of Jesse who lives there. For I have selected one of his sons to be the new king. But Samuel asked, how can I do this? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. Take a heifer with you, the Lord replied. And say that you have come to make sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice. And I will show you which of his sons to anoint for me. So Samuel did as he, the Lord, had instructed him. And when he arrived at Bethlehem, the leaders of the town became afraid. What's wrong, they asked. Do you come in peace? Yes, Samuel replied, I've come to sacrifice to the Lord, to purify yourself and come with me to the sacrifice. Let's move down to verse 8. Then Jesse told his son, Abadad, to step forward and walk in front of Samuel. But Samuel said, this is not the one the Lord has chosen. Next, Jesse summoned Shammah. But Samuel said, neither is he the one the Lord has chosen. In the same way, all seven of Jesse's sons were presented to Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen any of these. Then Samuel asked, are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse replied, but he's out in the fields watching the sheep. Send for him at once, Samuel. We will not sit down until he arrives. So Jesse sent for him and he was ruddy and handsome with pleasant eye and the Lord said this is the one anoint him my last verse 13 so as David stood there among his brethren Samuel took the olive oil he had brought and poured it on David's head and the spirit of the Lord came mightily upon him from that day on and Samuel returned to Rome if we would, the Lord said to tell you, you are the replacement. You are the replacement. For a subtopic, the oil is looking for you. The oil is looking for you. Just give me a minute. I'm, give me 20 minutes. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Illuminate our minds, God. Give us revelation. Take us somewhere we've never been before in you and we promise to give you all the honor, glory, and praise because it belongs to you. Woo! Thank you for your confirmation. Thank you for your stamp of approval on us. Thank you for your mercy towards us. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just give me 20 minutes. You, look at your neighbor say, you are, you are the replacement. The truth of the matter, we're living in an hour where many have played with the anointing. They have played with the mercy of God. They have trampled over the mercy of God. It is one thing to find yourself into sin and not intentionally want to be there. And there's another thing when you premeditate before you get involved with what you're going to do. In this hour, God is literally bringing judgment into the household of faith. And many will seem shift out of positions and shift out of places of elevation. And God is about to give the underdog opportunity. Oh, I'm almost there. Tell your neighbor she came to preach to me. He's about to give the underdog opportunity. He's about to give the one opportunity, the least expected, the one that nobody wanted to acknowledge, the one that nobody thought had an anointing. And that's why you went through the hell. And, 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 and while you're going through the hell, they thought that God was going to pass you by. But what they can understand is you are the replacement. I'm, I'm almost there. Uh, that Samuel is mourning over Saul and his behavior because the people have chose Saul to become the king and he has become arrogant and cocky and he is not moving in the will of God. Somebody said she's preaching already. The church has become arrogant and cocky, not doing and moving in the things of God. But there's some broken, crushed people in this room saying, God, if you give me an opportunity, I'll do it the right way. God, if you give me those resources, I'll do it for your glory. God, if you put a mic in my hand, I'll make sure I tell of your goodness. Samuel, Samuel is mourning. He, he is upset. He is vexed. He is trying to figure out how is Israel going to move into the position that they need to move in when they have a backslidden king. Somebody say, revelate me. Many of us are dealing with people who are sitting in backslidden positions, but what they don't understand is God has got you there to learn what you need to learn on that job. Learn what you need to learn with your finances. Learn what you need to learn with your business because you are the replacement. Oh, look at your neighbor say, I'm the replacement, baby.
to Jesse's house, I have another person or another one of his sons are going to become the king. The next thing Samuel says, if Saul hears about this, he will kill me. Y'all ain't ready. The Lord says he's getting ready to bring you under the radar. They won't even detect you coming, baby. God says, Thank you for watching the HP Spotlight. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, we invite you to write us a letter or send a donation. If you're writing a letter, you can send it to P.O. Box 533, Windsor, Virginia 23487. Or you can make a donation via Cash App at dollar sign HP Music and Arts. Or via PayPal at HP Music and Arts at gmail.com or via our website, www.hpmusicandarts.com. Or you can also mail that donation to P.O. Box 533, Windsor, Virginia, 23487. If you're an artist, author, or entrepreneur and would like to be featured on the HP Spotlight, you can also email us at hpmusicandarts at gmail.com. Again, we thank you for tuning in and we will see you next week.